St. Paul this morning. Listen, don't move in the Louis Alamo Army in the sanctuary this morning. Listen, this, this is such a beautiful day. I want you just to look around, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, are you in the army? Neighbor, are you in the army? Come on, neighbor, are you in the army? Hey, Amen. Come on, let's give God a great big time of praise. Hey, Amen. This is truly the day that the Lord has made. Anybody glad about it? I said, is anybody glad about it? Well, why don't you go ahead and stand up to your feet, walk around.
empty him out of himself and fill you with your spirit. I am behind that car for so that they see all of you and none of you. Now, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your divine sight. For, Lord, you are my strength and my redeemer. And all of those who love the Lord say, Amen. 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 you have your Bibles, will you please turn with me to Matthew, Matthew chapter number 8. Matthew chapter number 8. It's so good to see everybody this morning. You look good. You look, you look real good. You look real good. Matthew chapter number 8. And we're just going to go down to the third verse. If you have strength in your Bible, will you please stand for the reading of God's Word. Matthew chapter number 8. We're going to read this morning verse, verse number three. If you have it, say amen. amen. If you don't, say hold on. If you're still holding, look up on those screens. We got you. We got your back. Matthew chapter number eight, verse number three. If you have it, say amen. amen. If you don't, say hold on. Praise God for the cheat sheet. Here it is. Matthew chapter number eight, verse number three. It reads as this. Jesus reached out his hand. And touch the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. And immediately he was cleansed of his leprosy. Matthew chapter number 8, verse number 3, it reads this. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. And immediately, let the church say immediately. He was cleansed of his leprosy. The word of the Lord is already blessed. As you go to your seats, I want to preach and teach this morning. I want to talk about Mr. Clean. Okay. Okay. This morning, I want to talk about Mr. Clean. Okay. Come on. Um, brothers, brothers, please don't bash, please don't bash me too hard. But I love to clean. I, I love to sweep and 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 vacuum. I love to go. I love to go to the laundromat and wash clothes. I would love to wake up early on a Saturday morning and, and, and wash the car and vacuum it out. It is it, is something about witnessing that cleaning process. Something going from dirty, unorganized, run down, filthy, crummy, nasty, contaminated to clean. I, I like grandma's way of cleaning. Yes. If you ain't leave coughing and gasping for everything, you ain't doing right. <laughs> see, see, grandma, she used to mix products like bleach and Ajax and Pyrosol. Oh, and let it marinate for 20 to 30 minutes, then go back and wipe it clean. Now, now they come out with so many products and just, and just to clear the air, listen, I would love to try all those cleaning products. I like to see if they are going to hold up to their promise and do what they say they can do. If they say that it can cut through grease and grime, listen, I'm going to test it with grease and grime. If they say it'll get stains out the carpet, I'll find a spot a spill somewhere to see if it can get the stain out. Sister Sheila, if it says that it can do it, then I believe that it can do it. Unfortunately, church, I have found more times than not that none really held up to what they say they can do. And after years of research, one came with a promise to change the way that people clean forever. Amen. Out of the company Proctor and Gamble came Mr. Clean. <laughs> I, I, like, I like this line of products not just because the man is bald, but because it does exactly what it says it's going to do. Yeah, yeah, when you see that bald man on that product, you know that the product is A1. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Clean, he, 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 he became the symbol of cleanliness. Wow. And in the text, Jesus, he becomes the symbol for cleanliness. Listen, if he's not the symbol because of what he can do for a shower or a tub or some nasty floor, but what he can do for our lives. Say 
We, we in Matthew chapter number 8 this morning and Jesus, he is coming down from the mountainside being followed by this great crowd. Yeah. A young man with leprosy arrives and he kneels down before him. Did this man, he says, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Well, Jesus, he reached out and touched the man and told, told him that he is willing and uttered two strong words. Jesus said, be clean. The Bible says immediately he was cleansed of his leprosy. Jesus, he then instructs him not to tell anybody, but to go to the priest and offer the gift Moses commanded as a testimony to everybody else. That's the story, church, but you, you missed your shot cue. Here it is, here it is, and I need the shouters in the church to follow me. Here it is. Jesus is willing to make you clean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can that any same saints give an early praise? Because you did some foul stuff. You, you said some vulgar words. You had some evil thoughts. But Jesus, he cleaned you anyways. Listen, I need some real folks to testify. I was a mess and he washed me. I was a mess and he fixed me. I was a mess and he put me back together. I was a mess and that man named Jesus, he cleaned me. If you are going to be made clean, the text is showing us that you are going to have to disregard the priest's decree. He said you are going to have to disregard the decree. That's, that's a churchy way of saying you're going to have to look past the limits the world tried to put on you. So sometimes, sometimes church, they are going to put limits on us based on our age and skin color, job title, salary, position, and even our gender. That they want to keep you where you're at and don't want to see you do any better. Well, God, he says, come to me however you are, and I'm going to clean you right on up. In that, in that second verse, we see a man with leprosy. We, we, we know from study that leprosy is a skin disease that they believe was highly contagious. But because it can spread so easily, everyone with leprosy was shunned by the priests from society. Yeah. But, but when Jesus, when he came down from preaching that infamous sermon on the mount, your Bible says there was a crowd behind him and a man with leprosy in front of him. Yeah. The, the, the crowd behind him, it, it made sense because they, they were amazed because of his great teaching. But the man in front of him, that threw me off because according to biblical law, he should be nowhere near civilization. But I suggest that something rose up in this man that caused him to push past any law and limit that they had set. So now he finds himself in front of Jesus. Listen, I know that you are saved and submitted now. I know that you got the degree now. I know that you carry the Bible now. But who can testify? I wasn't always like that. And people they People try to keep you down. People try to limit your access. But you put past all of their opinions. And you went where they said you would never go. Listen, I need somebody in St. Paul to show. Because you put past every single time. You put past every of their, every one of their expectations. You put past all of those bad And you made your way right to Jesus. Listen, I need somebody who knows your plan to testify. Wrong with following him. We all sung that song. I have decided 
to follow. There is nothing wrong with following him, but can I suggest that things begin to change and shift when you are before him. Right. You, this, this, this lets us know that the first step in getting what God has for you yeah. is getting in the right place, position, and posture. Right. Jesus, yeah. Jesus is walking and this man comes and kneels before him. He is literally in front of Jesus and then he falls into a posture of worship. And I'm wondering all through St. Paul, can anybody look past what you are going through? And can you fall into a posture of worship? Listen, don't look around. This is your time to show somebody what it's like to be going through your own pain. And you still decide to worship God because he is God and God all by himself. Listen, I, I need to hear a sound here yeah, all through the sanctuary that gets God's attention here. Yeah. I need to hear a sound that drowns out all of your hurt here yeah, and all of your pain. I need somebody to open up your mouth and begin to worship him because when you worship him, Yeah. 
Jesus says, don't tell anyone, but go show yourself to the priests and offer the gifts Moses commanded as a testimony. This that sounds good, but but this miracle it is found in other gospels. Yeah. Yes, yes. In, in Luke, the same thing happened. Jesus yeah. told him to not tell nobody. He said, "Just go show yourself yeah. to the priest right. and offer offer such and such." But in Luke, it says the word got out and it spread all the more. Yeah. That that that, that sounds a little bit. That sounds a little more realistic. But if you go to Mark, I need my showers. If you go to Mark, Mark is a brother. And I believe Mark, he really got the story correct. Yeah, Mark says, after this man got healed, Jesus, he gave that same spill. But around verse 45, he says, instead of doing what Jesus asked, he went out and he began to talk freely, telling everybody everything that Jesus Christ did for him. I'm going to my feet, but is there anybody who been blessed so good that you couldn't keep it to yourself? Anybody been blessed so good that you have to tell your neighbor and your co-worker? Anybody trying to hold it? Just patiently waiting. 
We're, we're, we're waiting, Lord, with the praise because we know that it's going to happen. And it's going to be because of you. Lord, we believe that all things, all things still work together for our good. So even when we are when we are dealing with, with our own leprosy, even when our friends, when they, when they turn their backs on us, when we are lonely and, and isolated, Lord, we know that you are there. So Lord, we ask you to keep us while we wait. Keep a praise on our lips, lips Lord, while we wait. Keep our hearts. Keep our minds in perfect peace for a while we wait. No, this is not easy. Lord, the, it gets hard sometimes. We want to give up sometimes. We want to throw in the towel. But we trust in your word. We trust, Lord, that, that we can make just and do for it, right? Amen. But we know that joy is something. Yes, it is. So, Lord, help us have joy in the present. Yes, Give us our joy back. Yes. Give us our peace back. Yes. Give us more and more of you. Yes. We thank you all for being disciplined. Yes. We thank you all for washing us while it's snow. Yes. Nobody can have done it now but you. Thank you for sending your son. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We will forever give your name all the praise, all the glory, yes, yes. and all the honor. Because you, you deserve it. Yes. And this is Jesus' mighty name we do pray. Yes. Every heart says amen. 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 Come on, stand it all up. You can't lift yourself up. But I know a God who can look up every dog down here. Amen. Amen. You may take your seats. Come on, let's thank God one more time. Amen. Okay, this is the thing. This is the thing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Listen, we are, we are, it is, it is, it's July 2nd, right? It's the 2nd. Do we have any, any July birthdays in the building? July, we got a happy July birthday, all right? Will you please stand to your feet? Stand to your feet all, all over. Come on, let's, let's thank God for our July birthdays. Let's thank God for our July birthdays. Listen, we got this little jail. And I want y'all to join, join in with us. Come on, put your hands together. And we sing this for, 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 the, for the birthday girls. Can I say that? July, hey! Happy birthday to Bring your own water. 
Amen. Right. Amen. We're going to have a good time. Um, I believe we're painting a cow. And we need everybody to register. We have a, a, a flyer out in the lobby. Um, it looks like this. It's a QR code. And then it's an actual link down there. Um, I will actually be sending out the link also. So you can just click it. And, and register. We want to make sure that we fill um, the community center. It's going to be at Hopkins Hall uh, right here in Lake Hill. Amen. So if you have not registered yet, please, 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 let's register. Let's have a good time. Amen. 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 Listen, if you wasn't there on Friday night, All right, now. if you wasn't there on Friday night, the men are beasts. Listen, oh, let's let's talk. Talk. Yes, we had we had a game night on Friday night, and we played trivia. And listen. <laughs> My expectation, I didn't even know that we would get through all this game, through the whole game, but we saved, we had such a good time. You know, it's not even about who won, it's just about the fellowship. Yes, yes, yes. It's about the fellowship, make sure that we came we out uh, and have a good time in the Lord, amen, as a family. No, but the girls won, they did an excellent job, I believe right they beat us like 86,000 to like, like seven or something. You know, they killed us, but we had a good time. So this, this month, this month we are planning a movie night, a family movie night. Um, in the month of July, we do have a full schedule, but it's it's important to take care of home. Amen. 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 So before we before we do anything else outside of the community, let's make sure that we are loving on each other, fellowshiping together. Amen. 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 It is it is offer time. It's offer time. I'm asking that you get your best gift in your hand. Get your best gift in your hand. The Bible says, or that's the question. Really, will man rob God? He says, yes, you'll rob me in your time and in your offer. Amen. And we don't we don't want to rob God. So I ask that you that you put a big old smile on your face. That's right. Amen. And along with that smile, get a big old dollar in your get a big old amount in your hand and bless the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 The Bible says, give and I'll give it back to you. Yeah. It'll be pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Listen, I want God to bless you abundantly. Amen. But he's going to bless you according to how you give to him. We would see we like him to open up the floodgates, but there there's a responsibility to receive from God. And that means that we have to be generous in our giving. Father, we thank you for an opportunity to give. We thank you, God, that you have blessed us with jobs, careers, and ways to make money. I ask God right now, God, that you touch your heart, God, that they become tithers today. That they will pass, God, the pennies and the nickels, God, and that they give their tenth. And bless you all the more. God, I pray right now that you do more for them than they think they could do for themselves. God, show yourself to be faithful. And it's in Jesus' name we do pray. And the church say amen. 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 amen.